because as you can see, we have our, our friends that have come to visit. We have Ox, we have Papa Ox, and we have Uni. They're going to be watching and, and learning some new things with us too. They want to participate and have fun. All right, let's go ahead and do 10 little friends. Show me your 10 little friends. 10 little friends came out to play on a very bright and sunny day. And they had a little talk. And they had a little walk. Walk, 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 so. Until they came to a great big hill. And they climbed to the top. And they stood very still. Until they all tumbled down and fell to the ground. We're so tired, they all said. So they all went home and went to bed. <clears throat> Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good night. Let's do it one more time. Show me your ten little friends. Ten little friends came out to play on a very bright and sunny day. And they had a little talk, 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 talk. And they took a little walk, 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 until they came to a great big hill. They stood very still. And they climbed to the top. <laughs> I skipped a part. And then they stood very still until they all tumbled down and fell to the ground. We're so tired, they all said. So they all went home and went to bed. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice job, guys. That was fun. All right, we're going to get to read a story. It's the story orchestra. Everybody said, oh, no. <laughs> it's okay, Ox. All right, maybe he wanted to come closer to the story. It's okay. He's going to sit with you. The story orchestra. Four seasons in one day. In her room, Isabel lies sleeping. When she wakes up, she'll go on an incredible journey with her apple tree and her puppy, traveling through four seasons in just one day. Follow her and see spring blossom, feel the summer's heat, gather in the autumn harvest, and gasp at the cold of winter. But that's not all. You can hear music for every season, too. Press the musical note on each page and listen as of all these the four seasons bring the story to life. Quick, the little girl is stirring. Outside birds are gathering, singing their hearts out in the morning sun, but they've returned. They only mean one thing. Spring is here. Let's press the button. Okay, I'm gonna read the page and then I'll show you the picture. You can use your imagination. After listening to the spring dawn chorus over breakfast, Isabel fetches her apple tree in her bag. Come on, Pickle, she calls to her puppy. What did she say? Yes, come on, Pickle. We have to hurry to get to the spring festival by noon. But as they leave the house, clouds fill the sky. Spring skies are as changeable as the wind and full of sudden shadows. There's lots to see. The rain has vanished, but the time Isabel and Pickle get to the spring festival at noon, everywhere they look, there are people smiling, dancing, and laughing under the blue sky and shining sun. The air feels fresh and new, and lambs bleat and chicks tweet as everyone gathers to wear spring flowers and plant vegetables. An Easter egg hunt is underway. 
I'm Pipples, like Isabel. Let's join in. Well, I'm kind of being a good listener. That's so respectful. Let's find out what happens next. As the afternoon wears on, it grows hotter and hotter. The strong summer sun beats down on the festival goers, including Isabel and Pipple. The heat tickles their backs, pricks their skin, and breathes down their neck. The only thing they can do is close their eyes. But while they do so, dark clouds appear from nowhere, covering the sun. Too late, Isabel awakens and looks up at the dark sky. I wonder what's coming. The clouds rumble in daily with a blast of lightning. The sky cracks open. Lightning! Wow. Nice lightning. A second later, rain tumbles down. Quick, Pickle! shouts Isabel. Run! After a while, the storm fades and a breeze stirs the air. Everyone sighs with relief. It's time to collect in the autumn harvest. There are shiny red apples, crunchy orange carrots, and soft golden hay. Isabel and Pickle help everyone gather food for the winter, picking apples off their own tree. Around them, animals do their own harvesting too. In the fading light, the air becomes cooler. The leaves turn orange, red, and brown, and fall from the trees in huge, dusty piles. Let's jump through them as we walk back, Pipple, cries Isabel. Above them, the birds fly away to warmer lands, and all around, animals prepare for a long, cold winter. Oh, who's Amy going to come sit with? I'm guessing Amy can come sit with you. Isabel and Pipple aren't far from their house when the snow comes. The winter cold bites into their hands and faces, making them shiver and tingle. They run around to keep warm, then build a handsome snowman with stones for eyes and a carrot for a nose. I'm freezing, says Isabel when it's finished. Time to go inside. Do you see all the puppy prints and the footprints they're making in the snow? The sun's setting, says Isabel. Hurry, Pickle. We've got to get inside before it gets dark. They run along as fast as they can, but Isabel stumbles on an icy bit of path. She trips, slips, and the apple tree falls out of her hands, rolls down a hill, and into a stream where the pot smashes. Say, oh, no. I almost forgot to show you the picture. That's not good. Let's hear what the song says. The 
puppy looks concerned. Even the deer looks concerned. My poor tree, says Isabel as she sits at home, safe and sound. I'm so sad I lost it. What's the matter, Pipple? The puppy is scratching at Isabel's pocket. Isabel puts her hand in and finds an apple. You're so clever, she explains, because after she has eaten the apple, she's left with the core, which has a few brown, glossy seeds, the perfect seeds for plant for spring, so a new apple tree can grow. So there's hope after all. Did you see her pictures on the wall here? She has Pickle and then her cat as well. I'm not sure what her cat's name is. All right. And then at the end, it talks about the composer of the music. The composer is someone who writes music. Antonio Vivaldi was born in Venice, Italy in 1678. He had bright red hair although he often wore a wig on top of it, like most men in those days. His dad taught him the violin, hey, I play the violin, and he went on to become a very famous composer, writing more than 800 pieces of music. One of his most famous pieces is The Four Seasons, which was composed in 1723. Vivaldi was inspired by his friend Marco Ricci, who painted pictures of the seasons to write pieces of music that sounded like spring summer, autumn, and winter. Close your eyes. All right, let's listen to summer one more time. See if you can picture those things in your head. Let's listen to winter. Actually, Let's listen to Autumn next. Winter. Birds. And then let's listen to Heart of the Spring. Hmm. The four seasons in one day. What season's your favorite? Why is it your favorite? I'm glad you come to visit today and read about the Four Seasons.